Seven's the last one. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Feeling good. Feel like uh, getting there. Uh, no major injury or nothing. Just keep walking. Sometimes body feel a little bit fatigued, but everything's okay. You know, put some work in. Still have like after today, I will still have three weeks intensity, and uh, the last week gonna be the five five week, and pretty slow. I can't wait until I get there. You know, it's it's that fine line of just kind of managing your energy systems. You know, we've had a long camp. Um, you got to make sure that like. The weeks are, are hard, but you don't want to you don't want to try to push push too hard on days like this. Like that's the idea, but you also kind of have to understand when you have to uh, pull back a little bit as well. So you know you're managing injuries, you're you're managing energies, um, you know, and all that stuff. So it, it's kind of one of those give and take days today. The idea is getting in here, getting the work done, and then finishing the weekend off right. Okay, the last second. three three weeks of my training camp is going to be um, more technique and then keep next two weeks we're still going to do like high intensity sparring and everything uh, uh, strength conditioning but uh, after that uh, two weeks out we're going to start to slow down a little bit like the intensity of uh, uh, sparring in order to avoid injury and everything because like uh, it would be very stupid to, like two weeks away get hurt for some uh, unnecessary reason so two weeks from the fight we're gonna get that uh, look up to that and then um, yeah keep, keep keep it slow maybe do more hard work or everything without too much uh, contact who can uh, Course Angel. I see it all coming together. He's starting to get feel that peak. His energy levels up. His techniques are sharper, and he's much busier. I see an experienced guy with four weeks away from the championships uh, strap. He's been more fights, uh, more experience, and he learned from, from the uh, mistakes of the last fight. Um, knowledge is power. He gained some knowledge from that fight, and it'll show intuition fight night in four weeks. With looking back, I wasn't there for the last camp, but when you, when you ask questions about it, I think that was his biggest uncertainty at times, is when and where and how things were going to get done. Um, and now just having like Markel and Coach Dewey, myself, and everybody around him, I feel like he feels a lot more comfortable. I get it, Stipe is the greatest to ever do it at the heavyweight division. Anything that we did, we had his his like his name in our mind, right? So we prepared for Jarzinho, but we we're also trying to you know chip away at the ideas and concepts of what we wanted to work on with Stipe in turn, right? You have to, you have to spend as much time as you can really trying to dissect uh, one of the best to ever do it. Everybody's telling us, we ain't got enough to do, brother. What are you gonna show these motherfuckers?
a good, good space, good push for five rounds. It goes start Saturday. So this one, you find out how much you've been working. If the work that you've been putting on is working. But as for now, I feel like it's working, you know. Three more of those and then we hit the fight with and deliver the fight. It's not a sequel and you will be the fight by then. He's a kill. 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 Kill what? Kill away. Mm -hmm. So it's like kill or will? Kill or will? Kill or will? Yeah! Good! I made it! I did it! <laughs> Jarzinho hasn't thrown his own low kicks yet. To try to slow a little bit of this movement down. Yeah. He's like, he's investing on power. Yeah, it looks a little so tight. So he doesn't? looks heavy, yeah. How soon can we expect to see How's that? How's you like? <laughs> if if, if, if some guy uh, are injured for the best, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he plays out. He played out almost how I thought. I mean, uh, besides the fact that I was expecting Siri to wrestle more, because uh, his rest, his re grappling game is definitely best than um, Rosenstruck uh, grappling. But at the end of the day, he gets his hand raised, so that was the goal. Yeah, but I was very surprised to see uh, Rosenstruck like just staying back, having his back on the cage all the time. That was very surprising.